Hello, my name is Peter Parfit, and in the next few minutes I'm going to tell you about the world's most fantastic Christmas present. It's this Festal OF1400 router, and I have it here. Now this is the OF1400 EBQ+, and it's the UK 240 volt version. And inside the box uh, you get the OF1400 itself. You get the instruction manual plus the guarantee information, and remember, if you fill out the guarantee and get it off within a month, you extend your guarantee to three years free of charge. You get the plug-it cable. Uh, you get a side fence, which has with it a dust adapter. It also has a pair of bars to fit it to the writer. Uh, you also get a dust adapter for the writer itself. You get a chip collector. You get a spanner for doing tool changes. You get a 30mm copying ring. And you also get a total of three collets. So you end up with a half inch, a 12mm and an 8mm collet. Fit changes are very simple using the ratchet system here. You press on this side when you're trying to take a bit out. You press on this side when you're trying to put a, a cutter in. So we've got our bit in place. Now we can put the dust extractor hood in place. It has two little prongs here which locate with a couple of indents in the router base. When it's in place you then move this green knob across and it's then securely held in place. We're now going to assemble and fit the parallel fence. The first stage is to turn the fence upside down and we're going to fit the dust adapter. On either side of the fence here you'll see a pair of lugs. The dust adapter slides in underneath those and when it's almost home a final push clicks it in place. The next stage is to fit the two guide rods. First undo the clamping knob here on the router and then slide the guide rods in to approximately the position that you wish them to be. When they're there, tighten that clamping knob. Now, take the guide fence, loosen off these two clamping knobs, and you can then easily slide the fence onto the guide rods on the right. Now, the beauty of this Festal system is that now, by undoing this one clamping knob, I can remove the whole fence and get on with other work. To put it back, I simply slide it in and tighten that one knob. Absolutely brilliant. I want to do a trenching cut uh, through the centre of this piece of hard maple. So I've put in a double flute cutter, I've attached the guide fence and it is roughly in the right position. The first job then is to get the centre line of the right and lined up with the centre line on the wood. So I'm moving this forward and you can see the centre line indent here marked on the router and I want to get that in line with that uh, pencil mark I've made earlier. Now I've got these clamping knobs here all tightened up. I'm going to release this one and that allows me now to make some fine adjustments using the fine control here. And my aim now is to do this such that these two lines line up. That's the centre line of the router and my pencil line marking the centre line of the wood. And once those are in line, as they are now, I tighten that up and that is the fence adjusted for the centre line of the tool going through my centre line of the wood. Now we need to get the depth of cut set up. Undo the clamping knob there and lower the machine down so that the cutter is just touching the surface of your wood and tighten up that knob like so. We now need to lower this assembly down so that the depth gauge is hitting the tops of one of these adjustable turrets here. Now we need to lower this adjuster down to the zero position. And if we now raise this whole assembly here, using this little control where my finger is, you can get that set up so that the depth of cut is precisely where you want it. And I'm going to set this on five millimetres. I'm going to lock that there. So that's now fixed in position and it's a five millimetre gap between here and that turret there. 
So if I now unclamp this and push down further, it will lower the whole machine down by another 5 millimeters. And when I do that, I'll be at the right depth for my cut. I'm going to do my plunge, lock that off, and here I go. There we have a most beautifully clean cut, and that is absolutely spot on the 5mm I've set up on the turret. Right, I've put the chip catcher on here, and I've got a Roman OG bit in, and we're now going to use this to do a cut. Well, that was hardly difficult. Um, my bit is a little bit rough and ready, but never mind. Uh, and that went uh, pretty smoothly. I now want to show you how easy it is to set up the OF 1400 writer for use with the Lee Dovetail Jig. The first thing you need to do is to purchase this Festool component, it's a copy ring adapter. Then from Lee you purchase a guide bush and that is fitted into the copy ring adapter. And you do up the little nut like that and that's done. The next stage is to fit the dovetailing bit and also the copy ring adapter to the router. But first I need to remove my dust catcher and also I need to take out the bit that I had previously installed. So it's that bit out. I now have to remove this half inch collet from the router because my dovetail bit is an 8mm dovetail bit and I then put that in place first fit the guide bush and this is simplicity itself it just clicks into place like so and that's it done now in order to fit the bit we cannot push the bit up through this hole and get it to reach the collet so we have to lower the machine down like so and lock it off we can now insert the bit in the hole, get it approximately where we want it, and then tighten it in place by tightening the collet. This is done very simply. That's that bit done. So we've put the cutter in. Now we've got to set the depth of cut accurately. With this particular cutter and the lead jig, I need to get this set at exactly 21 millimeters. Now when I'm trying to do a really precise setting of depth of cut, I like to start with being slightly too shallow, and I've set this randomly, it happens to be exactly at 20 millimetres, and we're looking for 21. And the first thing I do is to release the locking knob here on the uh, depth control shaft here, and then turn the micro adjuster so that the zero mark is set with the indent there. Once that's done, I lower the shaft down so it's in contact, uh, with one of the turrets here and then lock it off. The next thing I do is to then calculate how many indents I need to move this by to achieve my change of depth and in my case it happens to be a change of one millimeter. Each one of these represents 0.1 so I now need to go through a complete cycle from naught all the way back round to naught again. So that's now raised this shaft by one millimeter. And so there's a gap of one millimeter between the turret here and the bottom of the shaft. So if I now release the shaft clamping knob and push down and then tighten again, that now should have made a change of one millimeter. So we should now have the depth that we seek and it's exactly 20 one millimetres. We're now ready to do some cutting. Let's give it a go. And there you can see beautiful little dovetails. Absolutely super duper. 
I'm now going to do the other side of the joint. perfect dovetail joint. Now I've set up a very simple demonstration of how we can use a copying ring. We've got this one which came with the router, it's 30mm in diameter and you fit it very simply by locating those lugs and pushing it in and it clicks. To release it all you do is press these two green catches like so and it drops away. So copying ring work is very quick and easy with this router. I'm now going to show you how useful these copying rings are. I've put a V-grooving bit in the writer and I've made up a very simple trammel device. It has a 30mm hole here and a slot which is 30mm wide and I've also got the hole for the actual trammel point which goes in like so. Right, the first thing to do is set my depth and I push that down until uh, the V-grooving bit hits the surface of my material and lock that off. I then raise this up by 6mm, which is the depth of cut I want, and I'm now ready to go. So I've done my V-cut, now for the fancy work. I've now got a, an old nut actually, which is about 10mm uh, uh, thick, and I've put that underneath this end of my trammel. And I've already marked some places off on a circle here where I want to set this up and I'm going to do a little bit of fancy work now, that's held in place and I'm now going to first of all set my depth, 6mm, go up here and make my plunge. market research before dropping the various hints to the family that I'd like to be given one of these for Christmas. And now I've got it, all of my expectations have been exceeded. This is the most brilliant writer. It is beautiful. The motor is very quiet yet very powerful and it doesn't drop any speed at all even when tackling difficult material like this hard maple. I particularly like the fact that the only tool you require is the spanner which you use for doing cutter changes. Everything else is toolless and that means it's very quick and easy to change from one task to another and you've seen how easy it is for me to set this up for dovetailing work and then to go on to do template work or to do work with the side fence. The dust collection is brilliant and this was a piece of MDF that I was using for this demonstration of the uh, template and trammel and there was virtually no dust whatsoever. I really like this ratcheting spindle lock mechanism here which makes cutter changes so quick and easy. The micro adjustment capability for setting the depth is super, it's down to 0.1 of a millimetre which is perfect for the sort of work I do uh, particularly when trying to set it up for dovetailing work. And you also of course have the uh, micro uh, adjustment here again to within 0.1 of a millimetre for the side fence. So all of your work can be very accurate indeed. And don't forget, as is the case with all Festival tools, if you register the machine shortly after purchase, the warranty is extended from one year to three years free of charge, and theft insurance is included in that warranty. The only thing that's wrong with this machine is that I didn't have one five years ago. I love it, and I'm sure you will too. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.